So today we're going to be looking at the brand new Claude computer use agents that work on your desktop and can basically automate your whole computer. Plus they can actually control your browser as well. So let's get straight into it. What is Claude Cowork? Basically, this is like a virtual system on your laptop that can just run and build and automate all sorts of things, right? So for example, if we go to Claude, you can see today that we built all sorts of things. For example, this Tetris game, as you can see right here, we coded out locally pretty well, it pretty much works first time around. It looks pretty cool. You can see here, we created a 30 day content calendar using this as well. We organized a downloads folder, created a spreadsheet for tracking stuff. We researched and analyzed Claude co-working reports that it generated for us as well. We have even posted tweets and I'll come on to that in a second and exactly how to do it. Like you can see right here. And then additionally inside Claude co-work, we can also create websites and then host them on a subdomain as well. Like you can see right here, right? And this can basically control and create files and organize files. You can control your actual browser as well. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to get set up here. So if you actually want these, these agents to control your browser, for example, what you need to do is make sure that you have the max plan from Claude. And then you also want to make sure that you have the Claude for Chrome plugin right here. And once you're logged in directly on Claude Cowork, like you can see, and you've updated the desktop version of Claude to this version right here, then what you can start doing is you can easily set this up. So let me show you exactly how to do this, right? What you're going to do from here is you're going to go to a new app, like you see right here. And then for example, we can say, okay, go to X using browser agent on Chrome with Claude, then tweet out a mind blowing tweet on the new Claude co-work update, right? Something like that. Now, if we use the messages, you can see right here, the prompt, what it's going to do is say, I'll help you go to X and tweet about the new co-work update. Let me get the browser context and then navigate to X, right? And so you can see here is actually opened up a tab. Now it's going to begin to compose a tweet and you can see it says Claude is active in this tab group. Like you can see right here, it's right in the tweet. Like you can see, so it says Claude just became your AI coworker. The new coworker update is insane. The other cool thing here is because it's logged into my account and it understands me and the history of the tweets that we've created with Claude Cowork, we can actually do that and post just like me, like you can see right here. Right. And so it's created this tweet. It looks pretty good. It's written better than most of my team could write, to be honest. And it did it in just one simple quick prompt. Right. So it's given me the tweet and what it reads over here. So it can communicate with the browser. And then if we go inside here and we say, okay, post this, it's now posted the tweet. Right. So it posted that tweet, like you can see right here, it wrote it pretty nicely, formatted it perfectly. This isn't AI slop as well. It's like actually something better than most of the posts on this. Now, I think it'll actually do pretty well. And then if we go back to Claude now, inside Cowork, you can see it's like the tweet covers this, blah, blah, blah. And I love that it ties into your live stream happening right now, right? It actually understands that I'm doing a live stream as we're talking right now. And it says, I love that you're talking about the Claude Cowork AI agent, perfect timing, right? And so you posted a tweet, wrote it, posted it live, controlled the laptop, controlled the browser, went off and posted this on my live account and even knew that I was doing this on a live stream. So it has a lot of context and it understands exactly what is going on. Right? A lot of people actually watch this video and may not understand what's happening here, but the agent understands exactly what's happening, which is crazy. So let's try something else now, right? What we're going to say is we'll go back to Claude here and we'll say, okay, write an email or in fact, navigate to my calendar and create a new event for a Claude co-work party today. Plus make sure that you send an email to me at juliangoldie.com inviting him, right? This is for the live stream happening right now, right? And now it's going to pop up with something that says, does it allow, do I allow it to control my browser, which is fine. And you've got two options here. You can basically, you can open up Claude co-work like you can see, or what you can do is you can navigate to your browser and just see what it's doing in live real time, right? So it's up to you how you want to use this and that sort of thing. And if we go to the other browser here, you can see it's navigated to my calendar, right? So it's actually going to open up the calendar like you can see. It's creating the new event for the Claude Cowork Party. It's going to try and add a title. It's created the title Claude Cowork Party like this. And it's set the time as well just for one hour. Now it's going to add the email address. So it's inviting me at juliangoldie.com. Bear in mind that like, I've used plenty of browser agents, I've used plenty of computer use agents. I would say the way that you can use this is by far the easiest, right? For example, I've tried something like Google Marina, ChatGPT agents, even the Claude for Chrome browser agent right here. And I think the way that Cowork works is like, it's so powerful. 
for people who don't use AI or don't understand AI. And I think that's what we're looking at here is we can all access this now, right? And it's just a local program that runs here and you can control and do anything using this computer use agents. And that's what I love is it's not really failing at this point. It's doing whatever it wants and however it wants. And it's working almost perfectly, like you can see. So it's going to add a description for the event and then it's going to save it. I'm actually going to pull this up side by side just so it's easier to see for you. Now it's going to send the invitation and it sent it. Boom. Look at that. So if we now navigate to me at juliangoldie.com, let's have a look. Boom. Look at that. We've got the invitation for the called co-op party. It's invited us right here. I like the fact that it's added a cheeky little emoji in the title. And how easy was that, right? So just to recap on this, there's so much you can do with this, right? And we're really just scratching the surface. So for example, we built out a Tetris game. You can see we tweeted live and then we sent an email invite plus a calendar invite for this particular post. We created a 30 day calendar previously as well, like you can see, and then you can open this up in numbers. So if we open this, this has created a local file right here. So not only can it like create the file and organize and track information and that sort of thing, but it also have a nice little link to just check that out locally. Like you can see here, you can see I actually said, help me organize my downloads folder. So it's easier to manage. And it did that pretty nicely. It actually gave me a nice little table breaking down all the files and the folders that we set up. We've got a budget tracking sheet. We have the content creation process, write a message about all the co work, blah, blah, blah. We create a website for the air profit board that looks super nice. Right. So let's open this up. Boom. Look at that. It's better than my exact. It's actually better than my existing website. Right. And then if we go back here, we organize our desktop files and actually deleted a bunch of files on my desktop, just using called co work before. And there was no problems. The only thing that I've seen it struggle with is actually creating a presentation. It's, apart from that, I think it can do almost anything. So you can see exactly how to use called co-work, how to control your computer, how to do all sorts of things. So you could analyze competitive websites, create a comparison sheet. You could generate social media content from blog posts, all sorts of things like this, right? Now let's have a look at some of the limiting beliefs that might be holding people back. So some people will say AI is improving fast. I should wait a few months until the next version comes out. I don't want to spend my time learning something that will be obsolete soon. But the thing is like the new empowerment belief is every month you wait is another month of wasted time on manual work, right? And the winners start now with current tools and stay ahead as improvements arrive. So waiting basically means fate and falling behind. And this is crazy because it will keep you stuck, right? Here's the truth. Like AI is always getting better. There will always be a new model coming in three to six months. But if you wait for good enough, you'll wait forever, right? Because by the time the next version launches, there'll be another one on the horizon. Meanwhile, your competitors are using today's tools. They're saving hours per week. They're deploying those saved hours to grow, right? And scale. And so like when you finally decide you're ready, there'll be six months ahead of you. That's the main thing. So the way that I see it is like, I use the best tools available today. And then when better tools launch, I upgrade, right? I don't lose anything by starting now. So I gain experience, save time, results and learning. Compare that to waiting, like you gain nothing, you lose time, you fall further behind to people who are already all implementing this now. Cloud Cowork is available right now. It works right now. It can save you time starting today. Will it improve in six months? Absolutely. Should you wait six months to start? Absolutely not, right? The best time to start AI and using AI was like 12 months ago. The second best time is today. So that's the way that I would look at it. Let's have a look at some of the questions we've got. One star will says, dude, you're like the other half of my brain. I don't have lol. Thank you. I hope that's a compliment. CX Nation says, are you walking while streaming? You are a multitasking master. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You got to get the steps in, stay healthy and do live streams. That's what I think. Sperio says, hello. And thank you for the tutorials. Happy to help. Scully says, Goldie Pop. And says, I hope you're not on a treadmill. I hope you're on a treadmill and that's not how you dance when you're in a good mood. Yeah, I'm just doing my special claw dance now. Just kidding. Just love your work. You're the guy I tell everybody about. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Scott. And One Star Wheel says, I need a real person assistant to manage my AI assistant while I do the more challenging code stuff. But the problem is if people can use this, they probably wouldn't be an assistant. I'll show you something interesting here. And I think you'll like this. Right. So if you check out this system right here, I actually get one of my assistants to just manage the AI and to post onto X for me. Like you can see, I've done other videos about it. You can search them on YouTube if you want. Right. But the main point here is I can get my team to use these tools as an assistant, as a virtual assistant, whatever it is. And my whole team use AI just like I do. Like I train them up. This is one of the reasons I create the videos is I use them as training videos. Right. And if you actually have a look, like you can see our analytics are just popping off. Right. For example, a couple of days ago, we reached 708,000 people one day, 459,000 people in one day. And this is just like a, a basic, this is just a virtual assistant who's never done AI and never done Twitter before. Right. My point here is like you can get and train a team to use this stuff, especially if you give them my videos, right? Because they're just following the same steps you are. We're all in the same boat, right? How many steps so far from Crystal? Let's have a look. Let's have a cheeky gander. 
So 21,000, I don't think you can see that actually, to be fair, but we've got 21,000 steps today. Plus we did the Muay Thai, so I'm feeling good. Starks, DevOps says, great content. Happy to help. Scully says, I love the look on my clients' faces when I tell them I made an AI employee for them. Yeah, 100%. And then CX Nation says, where do we start if we join the AI? It's like you have too much content. It's a bit confusing. Right. So when you join the AI Profit Board Room, we actually DM you, we direct message you, and we say, what are you struggling with right now? What do you need help and support with right now? And then you give us the actual thing that you're struggling with, and we give you a custom journey. So we built out custom journeys for every single problem we've seen members struggle with, right? And we have 2,100 members inside there. And so if you want to learn this stuff, like we'll literally listen to you, figure out what the problem is, and then we'll give you a custom journey based on that. So it really depends where you're at. But the other thing you can do as well is just start with the accountability group. If you want to start implementing this right today, start with the accountability group, set your goals, tell everyone what you're going to do, right? Because you're far more likely to achieve your goals. You're far more likely to implement this stuff if you declare it properly. And that's what the AR Profit Board Accountability Group is like. And it's a daily check-in where you can just say, right, today I'm going to work on this. People check back and they make sure they actually do it, right? So that's where I would start with this. If you're a complete beginner, then go to the classroom and inside the AI Profit Boarding, we have this six week AI automation masterclass that takes you from complete beginner to expert with AI in just five weeks. Plus you'll learn how to build your first AI agent in under five minutes, right? If you're struggling with overwhelm, we have different protocols for that. If you want to learn how we create avatar videos, you can see this whole process, but whatever your problem is, whatever you need help with, right? We can help you with this because we've seen so many members do it and we've designed a custom journey for every single person, depending on where they're at and what they're struggling with and how we can help them. So that's basically what we do. That's inside the AI reporting. Feel free to get it. Link in the comments description. We also have four coaching calls a week. So you can jump on these coaching calls, get help, get support, unlimited technical support whenever you need it. And if you want to watch those calls back, you can watch it back inside the classroom here. And also you can post inside the community here, get help, get support whenever you need it. And we're just all here to help each other. That's the main goal. So feel free to join and I hope to see you inside there. Cheers.